Hey guys, Autobot Lancer, uh, bring you another review. This time it's of uh, Transformers War for Cybertron, or I guess the Generations line, uh, Soundwave. Really cool deluxe class figure. Um, definitely glad I actually have in my collection. Uh, it's uh, I haven't had an updated uh, version of Soundwave since G1, so it's kind of nice to have a newer version of them since. Uh, haven't had one since like 1984 <laughs> but uh, anyways let's uh, get into showing it off so he does roll really good uh, just you have to make sure you have these little claws in the front up a little bit because if they are down it will snag and he doesn't roll, really roll, roll too well can't speak here uh, you can open up this little compartment in the front and if I can get them to come out you can take out what well in G1 it was his little batteries and you can peg them into the back portion here so he can be more armored but uh, yeah it's really cool N definitely a nice little figure but uh, let's get into the transformation here so first thing we want to do is also take these his weapons off set them to the side uh, and then you want to come back up here and you want to untab his legs and rotate them down or flip them down I guess uh, then you'll pop out his foot rotate around and then flip up the, the heel same on this side rotate, oh yeah also to bring the foot down there's a little tab here oh well, you can see that but it pegs into a hole on his foot there or on his ankle and you just want to do the same on this side as well rotate around peg it in. Uh, then you can take the wheels and spin them down on both sides and then bring his whole leg assembly up and so yeah that's right I don't think you really caught that on the camera. Sorry for the poor lighting here guys. Let me peg that in there. Then you want to take his arms and unpeg them from here and bring them up. Do the same on this side, bring it up, then take his little uh, tab here, or spike here, flip them down on both sides, bring out the wheel, and flip that back like that, so you just bring it back, and then flip the wheel out this way, and then they just sit like that. Uh, would have been kind of nice if they would have like pegged into something back here, just to kind of hold them better in place, but they don't. Uh, then you can take his arms, and if you just rotate them back, they'll flip out, and then fold in these little panels there. Rotate the arm around, bring up the fist, and then rotate the fist. Once again, guys, sorry for the poor lighting. I was trying to do this earlier, but it just wasn't going to happen. Rotate that fist out there. Or his ankle. Flip with the fist. Rotate it again. And then there you have Soundwave. So, just the camera angle here. So, the other cool thing you can do is with his weapons, he does have like the little machine gun looking thing which does peg into his shoulder you can also put it in his or, or hand too but you want to give it the real true to look to sound wave look uh, then you take this one here you just kinda gotta flip the little one piece out and you just pull it till it clicks and then that his guns in place and you can peg that in and then there you go there is Soundwave. He's a really, really cool figure. Uh, so I'm really glad to have him. The head sculpt on him is just awesome. It's full of so much wind. Uh, his head does rotate. So you can get him to some really cool poses. If you look at my at the beginning of my video, uh, I've got him in one hell of a dynamic pose. Uh, so he does have 
His neck or head does rotate 360 degrees. He does have his uh, shoulders do rotate. Uh, they kind of get inhibited by some of the kibble in the way. Uh, he also has, I guess you could call it like a shoulder swivel, I guess. And then a swivel here. And his elbow bends. And his wrist rotates and bends in and out. So he's got lots of, lots of, lots of posability. Uh, he's got ball jointed hips. Uh, it doesn't have a waist swivel, unfortunately. But it does have a little thigh swivel, knees, ball jointed uh, ankles and feet. So it's getting, getting to lots of, lots of, lots of poses. And you can also have it where his chest flips open as well. So overall, a uh, really cool figure. I'm glad that they released an updated version of Soundwave. I think there was one in our uh, updated version in, um, I think the Classics or Universe line, wherever, but I don't know if he got a mass release or not. Or I know I never saw any anything of him, or if he's an exclusive somewhere. But, uh, yeah, definitely really happy to have this guy. Uh, big, big thanks to... Uh, CyberMonkey, aka Dave, of Cybertron.ca. Uh, he's the one picked this figure up for me. Uh, he picked this one up along with uh, Dark Mount, who I'll be doing a review of later on tomorrow. But uh, yeah, big thanks to you, man. Uh, it's a huge help uh, getting these figures for me, as I can't get them uh, myself. But as there you guys go. There's my review. Hope you guys liked it. Uh, once again, sorry for the shitty lighting did the best I could with what light I got right now anyways guys catch you later and once again this is Autobot Lancer bring you Transformers War for Cybertron Deluxe Class Soundwave catch you guys later